Where the fuck did that Jubilee video go? I wasn't allowed to read them growing up, and my parents were like, we don't want you to become a witch. And I was like, <laughs> well, uh, it's fake. Um, oh, we don't say that at the Harry Potter Harry meeting. Potter fans. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I am a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. I'm a Harry Potter fan. One is Which a liar. one is the if fake the one, chat? If the discovers the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, they win the entire Survive? That's a very dramatic way of putting it. If the liar survives, the, the torture chamber we've got. I think the best thing to do right now is say, your house and your paternus. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Start with you. Okay. Ravenclaw, Otter. Okay, I'm a Hufflepuff and I'm a Shrew. Hufflepuff and Sugar a Shrew? Glider. What? Ravenclaw, Occam. Ravenclaw, what? And Squirrel. Hufflepuff, Otter. <laughs> Gryffindor, Otter. I think I was most suspicious of Rachel. Her and I were the only ones what that kind of came on full customs, because I was expecting everybody would do it. So when nobody did, I was like, hmm. Who's read the books? Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, cool. Bro, well, that book? one guy just said he what, he said he was a fucking alchemy. Yeah, that's that's my Patronus, alchemy. Okay. Goblet of Fire. The first one? Yeah. I'd say the seventh. Who's going to them? I'd say Order of the Phoenix. I'm Half-Blood Prince, so. Oh, nice. Okay. You're all I was different. really suspicious of Cameron. He wasn't wearing real Hufflepuff gear. He wasn't talking as much, so I thought he felt overwhelmed with the mean? amount of material. None of you are wearing Hufflepuff gear. What are you doing? Well, okay, never mind. You've got a Ravenclaw shirt. Sure. Never mind. What's the spell that Hermione said in the second book when he, she fixed Harry's, like, glasses? Oculus Reparo? Yes. Yeah. What book you say? Second book. Yeah. When they're at when they're at Diagon Alley. I know what you're getting at. It's not the second book. Yes, it is. No, it's, 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 it's not. Like, and I was like... Whoa, and I so it's I the got first kind book. of like defensive. Do you mean specific? Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm. Oh. Okay, good cat. Good cat. Uh, for the two Ravenclaws, what are the actual Ravenclaw colors? Oh, um, blue bronze. and bronze. When you have seven people, one minute is not enough. Everything was moving so fast, so it's hard to guess who else might it be. Bro, I am. Yeah, I was gonna say the guy who I said alchemy. Of Cameron because he didn't talk at all. Why is everyone voting Cameron? Are you all insane? I'm sorry. I would have voted myself out. I feel like I took one breath and then I was gone. When did you guys start reading Harry Potter? Yeah, that was so good. I read the first book the year it came out. So I was oh. in fifth grade. My mom read it to our, mm. our fifth grade class. I didn't read the books until seven years ago because I was born and raised in El Salvador. So over there, it was just too expensive for me to get the books. With my first salary, I bought my first Harry Potter book, which was the first book. My sister was a huge Harry Potter fan, but I was like a little scared because I saw both. Hufflepuffs. Yes. Who's your head of house? Uh, it's uh, uh, Professor Sprout. Question for the Ravenclaws. What is your true mascot? It's, a, it's oh. an oh. eagle. Oh. Um, for the Ravenclaws, who is our head of house? You mean the I founder? Mean, founder founder is Rowena. Rowena. Now we need to question the, the Gryffindor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, someone yeah, yeah. give me a question. All right, cool. What was Ludo Bagman known for? Oh, he's the um, Quidditch announcer, right? Oh, yeah, he's the, is the um, Quidditch guy. I was going to say, I wouldn't. Man, I've read all the books and I wouldn't know that. Oh, is that the wrong answer? I recognize I the a question name. about Ludo Bagman, who's a character in the books who didn't make it into the movies. I was trying to see if she had actually read the books versus just maybe watching the movies or maybe just trying to study up. My heart is pounding right now because, like, <laughs> I feel like I read so much fan fiction that I'm like, <laughs> you read fan fiction? Yeah, I'm like, what's canon? I need to ask you about that. Oh, did you read Isolation? Yes, of oh, course. Oh, okay, yes. okay, okay. okay that's Isolation is a fan fiction about a budding romance between Draco and Hermione. Yeah, of course I read. Okay, wait a minute. You're t so wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. You're talking about Harry Potter fan fiction, and you're not. Yeah, you're not even, you're not even talking about the classic Tara Gillespie. I'm nervous even bringing that on screen. It's a classic. And I have a, a question for you. Uh, why you didn't bring besides your one any other like? Okay, uh, first of all, <laughs> Harry Potter apparel is so expensive. I didn't wear any. That is true. It probably like gave a lot of people reason to suspect me. His shirt was comics related. <laughs> the mole will for sure have a one, but what about the rest of the clothes? What is your favorite scene from the books? Like something that it wasn't in the movie. Oh. That's a good question. Yeah. If everybody read the books, then they should be able to name a scene in the 
the books. I wasn't in the movies. So. Mine is when Dumbledore, uh, Voldemort died, because in the movies he died as uh, like the, he he yeah, the but in the books yes, he yes. died as a mortal man. Uh, Ron and Hermione become prefects, and Malfoy does too, and then mm -hmm. they're like walking through school and Hermione's like, Harry, don't go picking around with Malfoy. He's a prefect now. He can make life difficult for you. And he goes, wow, I wonder what it would be like to have a difficult life. Honestly, I think <laughs> it should be the Quidditch final in Prisoner of Azkaban because there was, that was, just wasn't included in the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I really wish that they included like Peeves, the poltergeist, oh, throughout yeah. the whole like movies, like he wasn't there. Oh, did you guys yeah, like Snape? Yeah, he wasn't in any of Snape them. fans? Yeah. No. I hate I Snape. He hurt Petunia. He literally got her hit with a branch, and that's when he like showed effects. There's like, nothing in any of the books, any of the movies, that shows like that he wasn't actually all about that life. In both in the books and, and the movies, I feel like all along he has Dumbledore's support. I don't know what's. I don't like Dumbledore. <laughs> he's a manipulator. I don't like him. He's weird. Uzera was talking so much. He is probably only giving all the facts that he study and speaking more so the rest don't get to talk. Oh, yeah. yeah, Dumbledore's a manipulator. He is literally, <laughs> literally, <laughs> literally <laughs> like, no, no, no. To be fair, he's not wrong. I look at each character as if like they're people and Dumbledore's background, exactly. like with his thing with Grindelwald, so I feel like that makes him human at the same time. I can kind of relate to him. I'm sorry. Yeah. He, he's still, he's human, but he's still a fucking, he is a manipulator. Like I absolutely agree with him. I, Uzair is correct on that. I will definitely say. Have a tie. The tie is between. We have to Kylie fight to the death now. <laughs> I mean, I'm a late Potterhead, but I freaking love Harry Potter. I've been to like all the landmarks. I've been to Leadenhall Market. I've been to Black Park. I've been to the Elephant House, and I spent so much time there. Oh my god! And I've also been to Harry Potter World, obviously. I'm just a really big Harry Potter and I'm Bro, so I'm a huge into Harry Potter, and I don't know what the fuck are you talking about the Elephant House. What is that? What is that? Where? What is the fucking elephant? Oh, it's a, it's a restaurant. Oh, oh, that's okay. Maybe she is genuine. I had no like idea about that. Black <laughs> Good luck, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Favorite book, a movie is the third one, but my favorite scene is from the sixth one when Harry Potter he yes. drank Felix like the Lucky Charm, and he's just walking, and then the like, Felix the Delicious the Slughorn comes, and he's like, Harry, and he's like, Sir. When they are at the uh, like dinner hall, and each is eating like in the why house, was that your favorite? Uh, tables, I mean, I do kind of like it. with the girl that he wanted to go. I'm forgetting her name. Then he's like, I wanted water for this. I was staring to that bottle. What? What? Oh. Jeez, I have to take a second to process it. Why you you all know the most obscure facts, but then you're like you forget oh Cho Chang, the, you motherfucker forgot Felix Felicius. Oh, why So he goes like, you know the way to like go straight because he's just so nervous because flooring with her. The first one I just screwed it up, so I was like, okay, I have a backup, and I have another one. Harry gives David the book with the sock, and he found this. He's like. Oh, the master has. Yeah, that is a classic power. Harry Potter scene. In Order of the Phoenix, the fight between Dumbledore and Voldemort is just crazy. Like, mm -hmm. that's the only reason I really like the Harry Potter movies is because it gave me a way to actually see what I've been reading since I was ten. It's like a flashback of James I mean, that's Potter fair. and him like bullying uh, Snape and saying, "I'm oh, taking down Snivelly's trousers." I think that's a very important scene to me because it shows that. Even though it's like someone to look up to, there's like flaws in every character. Deathly Hallows, when Hermione has to obliviate her parents. It's so sad. It's a very Gryffindor thing for her to do to protect her parents by obliviating them. She doesn't even know if she can get their memories back. The most suspicious person, I think, was uh, Grecia because she blanked out on a couple things. Yeah, that is fair. I'm not a model. <laughs> What, what did she say? I'm not a I was muggle. Really disappointed. I went in the whole effort to like come in a complete uniform. Maybe the mole felt like threatened, and that's why they got me out. <laughs> if you want to continue playing the game, please raise your hand in three, two, one. We'll vote one more time. What? In three, why did two of them not want to continue one. playing? mentioned her sister was a big Harry Potter fan. She could be wearing her sister's 
sweatshirt and using her sister's wand. I started doubting like Brian. He might be the least likely option, but that would be like the biggest gas moment. I'll do one last vote, <laughs> and that's it. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my god. I was gonna say, why would they just change that? Oh. <laughs> what can I say? We're magical. Oh my god. Ten minutes of deliberating? <clears throat> One of you guys could be the moles because you guys wanted to end so you guys can get the money. There's no harm in just having another round, I think. I feel like we got the mole. All three of you guys have given some pretty like deep cuts. The level of material that we've been talking about, it's too intense that I think the mole wouldn't be able to spit out those facts. Maybe it really is Kylie. I want to keep going because I'm just like a little bit suspicious and part of me is like, I need to like have it down to like <laughs> the last survivors. I don't know what to do anymore. Let's go for one last round of votes. If you want I hope to it's the exact same way. Please raise your hand in three, two, one. Okay, that's fine. Okay. 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 <laughs> so if the lights turn green, you guys win. If the lights oh turn God. red, the mole is still in the box and you lose. Has that ever even happened? I mean, maybe. I haven't seen like every Jubilee. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Who so was it? I turned green. I was like, all right, cool, we're good. I was like, I'm really glad that I made it to the end. I'm very proud of myself. I'm, I'm sorry, Haley. I voted you several times. It's okay. I was, I, was kind I of voted you several now times. I, I wanted your ass out of here. I was suspicious because you, you're like, you know so much. I was like, odd man out's gonna psych me out. <laughs> well, at first, I really thought it was him, but. Was it fucking Cameron? Did they get him out in the first round? <laughs> I'm so yeah, sorry. I'm so sorry. I am a Hufflepuff. I took I took the quiz, but my roommate is a huge Potterhead. I was traumatized by Voldemort's face when I was six in the first movie, <laughs> and that's why I just never went back. Considering that I've never actually read any of the traumatized by Voldemort, yeah, yeah that'll do movies, it. Movies, I think I did a pretty good job. I am not into Harry Potter, and I never will be into Harry Potter. I can already hear the haters behind the screen. So you haven't read Isolation. I just studied about it. <laughs> that that feels so really betrayed. Good. That you did study and the fact that you brought a sweater. Props that to was a good, a good song. plan bringing up the fanfic. <laughs> I probably would not have guessed her. I don't specifically think that you have to read the books to be a fan. If you do read the books, you are able to appreciate it more. I had immigrated to the United States at a young age. Harry Potter was like a place of solace for me, or a refuge. I was able to be part of something like bigger part of something that is like magical and like can take you away or distract you from like things that you're going through or like tough things i think that's why it has like a special yeah, it turns place. blue i like that <laughs> honestly that's kind of what i was saying <laughs> hey everybody remember to like share and subscribe